steam tank. There's eight new Air Force gliders. Technically, if there's enough wind, even a car will fly. I mean, like in a tornado. You need to cut it out of this clamshell. Sweet. Kind of burnish it down. And who is the pilot? Gemini Poe. Wow. We've got the stickers. Great. No less than three planes. We're going to build the steam tank version first. The OO logo or the Skull logo? Which one? Okay, Skull logo. You got it. Okay, here's step one. Ah, that is step one. Using a pair of nail clippers. Well, guess what? We're not going to do that. We're going to do it with the Uber cutter. This, this little device is kid safe, is rated for five year olds on up. It's like a clamp. So you engage the clamp and then release it, and then this stays wherever you want it. So let's say we want to cut it right there. And so that's where we're going to cut it. And you just turn the knob. Boom. And and that's two. To find out about the Uber Cutter, there'll be a link on the channel page. And we move on to step two. Okay, let's do it. Step two. Lock hub and the wheel. You notice if you push it together tight that the wheels uh, are restricted. They can't rotate uh, so smoothly. So give it a little bit of space so that they can rotate. All right, if you can see this, I'm going to put it right on that bracing perpendicular to it. And now, in step four, in this position. Okay. Check this out. Uber sticks parts lock right on to the foam wings. The front part of the wing goes in the top of the quark and the eye stick goes in the bottom opening here. But over here, the back of the wing goes in the middle of the quark and the eye stick goes in the bottom row. So let's do that. So we've got the top, and this one. So now that we've got that section, let's put the front section in. Bingo. Now we'll come in with these two half quarks. Okay, and boom. Okay, this is looking pretty cool. Here it is from the side. Wow. Which landing assembly, if it's tilted forward or back, it's going to change the weight ratio and balance of the plane. So you can test it with the wheels out in front or the wheels tilted back. It's going to have more loft with the wheels tilted back because the weight, more of the weight, is towards the back of the plane. Wheels out in front, it's going to be more front heavy. It's going to... You've got some more lock hubs here and you can always add a little bit of additional weight 
to the front. On the front, you can push them into place like that. But this is something that you can only determine by taking it out and flying it. So, there we go. <laughs> See this guy? You know, of course, that Uber sticks mates with Lego. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, now we are ready to fly. I'm going to take this outside and fly it. See ya.